Uh, hello everyone. So welcome to uh, Sales and Web Drivers with Shisha Workshop Part Six. So in this session, I'm going to talk about uh, some data for multiple objects in JSON file. So in the previous session, we we talk about like you know uh, we are reading the data from the JSON file. That is the only single object. I mean one set of data we are reading from the JSON file. Okay. So now let's see the how to implement this part. So first thing we need to create a JSON file with the multiple data objects or data sets. And then second one, we have to create the data model uh, for reading the keys from the JSON file and uh, read the multiple objects from JSON file uh, by using the uh, C -sharp code. And then we have to implement that same concept in the cell number browser with C -sharp. That means how to read the data from the JSON file, uh, or multiple data from JSON file to your uh, test automation. Let's jump onto the uh, Visual Studio and we'll see. So in the previous session, we have already seen that in you know, this is a single set of data and we have the uh, data model. This is the data model for the registration. And we have created, creating the data from the JSON file. Okay, this is one set, one set of data. So now I'm going to uh, create another data's data file, it's a JSON file, um, where I'm going to write the different type of known objects, JSON objects. So this one, I can name it as, uh, Register data. Register data. Dot JSON. Okay. So here I'm going to write uh, multiple data sets register. So um, in this, I'm going to write uh, multiple objects. So here I have to open the bracket, close it, and then you can write down the first name something. And then last name. You have an email. Information. One, two, three. Yahoo.com. You have a password. Testing one, two, three. So call the same, I'll copy these same objects. Paste. So I'm passing four sets of data. So I have to give the different names here. Okay, so Stephen, drop, Stephen, drop. And this is John Wesley. John. And this is uh, Kumar. This is Kumar at email.com. Fine. Now I have four separate uh, four sets of data in the JSON file. Then I have to create the data model. So this is the whole data model, okay? So um, let me create another data model. Or uh, we can use the same thing, it's not a problem. But if you want to read the data, okay, so we need to create another class here. I mean, uh, if you want to read the multiple uh, data objects from JSON file, so we need to create another class that is, um, uh, I can say, from the class, uh, example, user list, example, user list. Or I would say, register list, register list. Right. So in this, um, I'm going to call, uh, or I'm going to create an object for the list of, list of uh, list of users. Okay, which is a list of model of this is a data. This is a register data example. Register. I'm using register. And then um, I need to use the getter setter methods for this. Okay, public list of users. Uh, list of registers, models. So register data model. So yes, okay. So for this register, sorry, I'm sorry. 
right register yeah register data models now we have to use the get us certain methods and then um yeah use the get us method set us methods fine and then we have to implement this in the script uh, first we need to read the data from the json file uh, let me create another test method here Right. And this is a uh, read uh, JSON data, multiple objects. Right. So for this, okay, so I'm going to get an object for this um, register list, which is a register list, okay. Um, example user data is equal. And then I can use the JSON. JSON convert, JSON convert. So JSON convert is from coming from the Newton soft. Okay, uh, in the previous session I used system dot text dot JSON, but in this session I'm going to use the Newton soft dot JSON. Okay, then so we have to deselect the objects here, and then so we are calling from where exactly? Register list. Register list. Okay, so here we have to. Um, use it in the file dot uh, read all text from the JSON file. So here we have to copy the full path of JSON file. Copy full path. All right. And then if you want to read the data here, Okay, I think it is uh, something is problem with this. Okay, fine. Then uh, I have to read it. Okay, how to read that? Because if you want to read the data, multiple objects from the JSON file. So we need to create a for loop here. Example, I'm creating the whole for loop. Okay. Okay, so this is a user data, right? Okay, this is a user data dot and uh, this is a model dot and we get to get the count. This is a maximum length. Okay. And from here, I want to uh, store in some variable. Okay, example, the first name, f name is equal. To, f name is equal. To, so, uh, what is the object? User data dot dot, and then register. I'm sorry, register what is dot, and we have the first name. What is the first name here? I'm sorry, uh, model of i dot first name. The first element. Okay, so the first element is zero. Okay. The index part of the key. Then second element I want to call it. Second key. This is the last key. This is the L name. Same way for email. This is for email. Finally, password. Right. So if I want to print this. Print this, okay. I'm using right. So paste here first name, okay. Uh, it's F name, F name. Then um, I want to use uh, L name, email, password. That's it. If you want to run this test, yes, run it. You would see in the console. I'm sorry, something went wrong with this. Uh, let me comment this for the timing. Save it and run it. I'm sorry, something went wrong with this.
Okay, I think it's uh, opening the browser. That's fine. Okay. So there is a problem. Read JSON data multiple objects through exception. So we'll see. And here is the problem. User data dot data based data models. Go here. This is fine, but what is the problem here? I think I need to set up uh, the register. It's not required. Get and set. Register and set the value to the register. dot values is equal to value I think it's enough let's see so still there's a problem I don't think so The issue causing from where this is fine. I'm sorry, let me use the two string. Okay, maybe data is not trading properly. Let's see that. Now, let us try to run it. I did not make any changes. I just changed this object uh, name, a list of visual uh, data model, and this is object name. And then come to uh, the code. Okay, so in code of now, I'm just now calling user data dot register dot com and user data dot get a file or list dot get a file and user data dot register a file. First name, last name, email address, and password. And then um, let me run it. Yes, so it's fetching data from the JSON um, file. So I miss uh, critical test automation one two three yahoo dot com testing. So yeah, this is how we are getting data. Let me give some space. Yes, now the data is coming properly. So now what I'll do, I'll implement the same uh, in my automation class level. So let me let me create one class. This is the register test. This is the um, um, register test with multiple test data with multiple data dot cs. So I need to call my base class to launch the browser. Right, and fine. So now I have to copy the same code. This code, I'll copy this. I'll paste here. Uh, yes, JSON convert is coming from Newton JSON. And this is system.io. Right. So 
So uh, I'll remove this. So with this data, I'm going to pass to my test script. This is my test script. This is my test script. I'll copy this. This year. So what is the first name? F name. Pass here. And this is the L name. This is email is fine. Um, password. All right, so I don't want to verify any email account right now. So I just want to remove this. Just not. So I want to click on the logout. Finally. I'll go here, uh, remove this session also. As of now. So first we are, we are launching the browser and I'm getting to URL and click on the registration link and uh, uh, select in the gender, mail and uh, enter the first name, last name, email, password and confirm password, click on the register button and verifying the successful message then finally, finally clicking on the logout button. So first iteration is complete with the one set of data that is um, this data and the second set, final, uh, third set and finally, so, okay, we'll see that how it's going to run. Yeah, clicking on the register link, filling the data. Yes, logout. Clicking on the register link, Stephen Bob. Yep. Third set of data. Then finally, fourth set of data. Perfect. Close in the browser. So, this is how we are going to uh, uh, read the data from the JSON file for multiple objects, okay? Multiple uh, uh, test data. It's kind of no data driven testing. Okay. So, yeah, this is the end of the session. So, thank you guys. So, if you like this video, please uh, do like and subscribe and share it with your friends. Thanks everyone.